the deal let me get a one if you can hear me let's see charmaine seven is here all right divested peace thank you for the one colette de jour thank you june brown thank you check it out ladies klsb is here kiana jackson's here sean q is here what we got all the ladies up in this motherfucker right v and training's here eve's here now here we go there's a mammy issue, um, and I'd like to go ahead and put it out there that the entire time this was going on, they just didn't want to see it. I've come with receipts tonight. Um, those of you that have been divested for a very long time, you already know what the receipts are. You already know what it is. Nobody has to convince you of anything. This right here is directed at the fence sitters and the all out mammies. And over there in the manosphere, mammy bitches, please stop calling my name. Please stop looking for my attention. I'm not interested in you like that, baby. That, that This is the thing. Stop tagging me. Stop calling my name like somebody fucking the shit out you. Stop the bullshit. Okay. I don't do names over here. I really, really don't. And to other bitches, I don't have time for your nonsense either. We got some shit to cover. Let me go ahead and um, since this didn't work for you, let me share my screen and see if this works for you. Come on, don't do me like that. <laughs> it was in that silver SUV 
Body camera footage of Genesee County Sheriff's deputies arresting an alleged sexual predator who's accused of repeatedly raping an 11 year old family member since last October. Now I can't go into exactly what he said, but I will assure you this. There was no remorse and there was no regret. In less than a week after being notified by Hurley Hospital in Flint about suspected abuse, Sheriff Chris Swans. I want to stop right there for a second because you mammies don't give a fuck about these little girls like you claim you do. Stop with the lies about how you give a fuck about black women and girls because you fucking don't. You lying piece of shit, okay? The zaddy actually does. You can hear it in his goddamn voice, but you hate his guts, so let's just keep going with this. Let's go. Johnson says 28-year-old Cameron Lee Hall was arrested. The Flint area man had just taken the 11-year-old on a week-long business trip to Kentucky alone. These predators like Hall will use different tactics depending on what's going to strike a chord with the victim that they seek to destroy. Hall's tactics included separating the child from siblings and step-siblings in their blended family of nine kids. Hall groomed this family member Sound familiar? Listen, I know that you mammy bitches only care about getting dick. You probably mad at the 11 year old for getting it. That's how sick you are, right? You probably mad at her. She was being fast and grown, right? She asked to go to Kentucky and all these different places, but I'll get to something you give a fuck about. Let's finish hearing about this baby that's no longer gonna be the same for the rest of their life. By using separation tactics separating the victim from the family, mm. isolating the victim, sleeping with the victim, <laughs> showering with the victim. Ooh. Hall is now charged with 26 counts of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. He is currently being held on a $260,000 cash bond. The concern now is that there are possibly other victims out there. And I can guarantee you there are. The mammies in these fucking communities don't give a fuck about this shit whatsoever. Actually, some of them know that it happens. I've had people tell me that they've told their mother, their cousins, their aunts, their uncles, and they've been called liars, right? Because you don't want the baby girl to take your man. You are sick as fuck. I know you don't care about that whatsoever, so let me just take this screen from down here. Um, Let's see if you care about this a little bit. But no worries. I do know what you care about, and we're going to get to it, and we're going to get to see who they were actually talking about, right, when they said that your coochie stank, when they said that you was broke, when they said you was skin bleaching, when they said that you wanted to wear white women's hair and all that shit there. Let me ask you this. Why do you think these people are leaving your communities? Hmm? Why are they leaving your communities? What, what's the real tea? Look at your people. Look at them. This is your people and there's a mammy involved, of course, because they always have to have their co-pilot. So when you turn around and can't find anything that's in your stores and that type of shit, rest assured that bitches in um, their nakers, they're taking over a half a million dollars out of the guy. People have to stay above water. They don't know what it's like to pay bills. They don't know what it's like to go ahead and make sure that everything is, is in its checks and balances state. They know nothing about that. So believe it or not, ladies, there are mammies out here that would make excuses for these brothers right here and this goofy ass bitch that's sitting down here with them because they, they, they're oppressed. They're oppressed. Well, the thieves in your community are press, oppressing you. OK, you won't have anything in your community. As a matter of fact, right, you're already having to leave your neighborhood to get grocery stores in a lot of y'all's area. But we just going to keep the shit trill. What we here to talk about tonight, it, it was him the whole time. It was the black man the whole time when he was talking about you. Right. And how you just you, you ain't worth the fuck. You want to be white. You want to do this. You I can't say that up here, but yeah. He was talking about himself. Remember all the skin bleaching shit? Do y'all remember that? Well, to be honest with you, these are the motherfuckers that are trying to be adjacent to the zaddy. Huh? Trying to be adjacent to the zaddy. Look at this shit here. This is your shit. This is your men. But they're the ones that's doing it. All the shit that they sat up there and said that you did, right? They are actually doing it, okay? And you'll make excuses for them. They don't make excuses for you, bitch. Let's keep going.
do we have more skin bleachings? Yeah, we do. You talk about colorism. Motherfucker, they don't even like their own skin. They hate your guts. And it really don't have shit to do with your goddamn skin tone. They just don't like you because you're a black woman. But these motherfuckers right here, this shit looks like a sick science fiction joke. Huh? Aaliyah, jump in. Oh, you know, I got a lot to say, but it ain't going to be about this, though, because you might want to take the high road. But, you know, I tend to not take the high road a lot. So I'm going to let one of the other ladies go. Go ahead, Snapple. I was going to say that first eight, uh, grape up there. <laughs> he, knew, he, knew to, he knew to put them um, leggings underneath them jeans because them black ass kneecaps. The, the bleach don't work there for some reason. So, yeah, he knew to cover that shit up. But yeah, I had to cover that piece up, Snapple, because I'm going to be honest with you. Another myth got busted with these niggas, if you hmm. get what I'm saying. That hmm. thing was sitting there looking like an old rancid fucking Vienna sausage that it had oh. also been bleached. How about that right. part? <laughs> it, it ain't big. Like y'all keep lying to these bitches about it. It ain't it ain't that. Keep going. Oh yeah, I was just saying, yeah. They everything that the um cicada says about black women, like you said, it's them, it's them doing it. They want they want to align themselves with white zaddy. They want to be with white zaddy. They do all the things that they accuse um black women of doing so yeah right every on point thing every single thing oh dz just pulled up two or three men that engaged in skin bleaching it's not common it's common on all of your diaspora ass area black american jamaican african the list goes on and on ebony hey this is <clears throat> Man, uh, Sammy Sosa don't look so bad now. Ah, golly. Um, His funky ass up there, too. Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, here's the thing. It's all because if Zaddy chooses you, you get up, okay? Your situation is rising socially, okay? He can't be Zaddy, right? He wants to be. He'll, he'll even settle for looking like him. Okay. Are you psychic? I told you the diaspora is, is catching hell as, as well. I mean, that this, shit needs to be killed. My problem is stop turning yourselves inside out into pretzels, into crazy to please people who cannot be pleased. They don't want you. Make they no don't, they never did. It, let's, let's make no mistake about this. Black men don't hate white men. I want you mammies to listen to me. They don't. They just want a seat at the fucking table with them and they can't have it because they haven't added anything to the table. What they think they can do is tell you they don't like you and then get up in these, you know, these other women's crotch or whatever and make that some sort of portal into the white community. That's not how that shit works. That's they not want you to works. hate them, though. They want black women to hate white men and any other man. They do want that because they don't want any competition because they cannot compete. Do y'all remember how much hell little Kim caught? Now, I'm not taking up for the bitch because that's a mammy like a motherfucker. She did all that shit because she know what black men prefer. But how you going to throw a stone, right? And you're living in that goddamn glass house because these niggas from coast to coast, ocean to ocean are doing the same thing instead of building trying to find a shortcut to ditch your ass and tell you you ain't shit they ruined your goddamn image and it was a, a way to make it an excuse for them not to like provide for you so it can get them off the hook y'all this is some bullshit bullshit and you got black women oh i love my skin tone i love my well no matter how much you say the shit motherfucker it's not going to help you they don't like you huh oh god is there anything else that they actually got into that they accused you of doing oh this is this is a youtuber right here and like she said they want zaddy so you already know where i'm going with that 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 community is protected like a motherfucker yeah they accuse you of wanting white men but <laughs> he got one he got one right let's keep going Oh, let me go back, because, darling, this is going to be a hot-ass mess. Just bear with me for a second. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
hold the fucking phone. And Jin Jin and, and Kiss Clip, I see you in the back. I got you. No worries. Um, They said you had an attitude problem. Let's see who has an attitude problem. My fucking money back. My Give me my fucking money back. You're not any Give me my fucking money back then. Give me my fucking money back then. I ordered a large. I don't care. Where's the spit? Yes. That's Give me my fucking yeah. money back. Give me my money back. Give me my money back. Yeah. Me my money back. What money? I ordered a fucking large drink. She said I can't have a large drink. Give me my fucking large drink. Give this man large. No. no. Where's the spit? This looks like a, a drink attitude to me. And by the way, ladies, he had ordered a small drink. The woman in the video was trying to show him on the receipt. It says small. You ordered small. You paid for small. They are emotionally stunned. But they say whenever you go somewhere, you don't know how to act. There are some mammies out here that cut the food. Don't get it twisted. But they weren't talking about you. They was talking about they got damn self. Everything they said that you are, that's what they are, to be perfectly honest with you. Aaliyah, are you ready? Because I know you're ready to drag a manosphere, mammy, so let's go. Oh, yeah, because I tried to be nice, didn't I? Did not have not been good, y'all. I, I thought that I had been very good. And despite what y'all may think, this is not about Dahmer. We had our funeral and we put you bitches to sleep and we were done with it after that. So by all means necessary, keep running your mouth. Nobody gives a fuck about you. But see, the thirsty manosphere cum receptacles are upset again. See, they haven't let y'all up off your knees yet, poor things. And it's funny how y'all get all this bravado when you want to talk shit to us, but these niggas got y'all out here looking like the bastard stepchildren at the family reunion. And see, at the end of the day, your men are still conquered failures. You're still on the losing team and you still don't have a damn thing to show for all your ass licking. So truth be told, that's why y'all are still so ass hurt over Pearly because you sucked all that dick and apparently you didn't do a good enough job because you just weren't that memorable. Y'all are just not those girls. I'm sorry. You're not that important to your kings. So don't think you'll ever be that important to anybody over here. Look here. Yo, shut the fuck up. It would have been more impressive had you said that to Pearly and the Manosphere Rejects. Damn. Whose, boots, whose boots you lick like the mangy mutt waiting to be thrown the dinner scraps? You were not invited to sit at the grown folks table, so better luck next time. Also, it's my sincere advice that you knock it off with the twiggy eyelashes and perhaps the Manosphere Rejects would consider you. That's really the reason that a lot of you are so mad. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the fact that y'all hate Pearly so much because she didn't have to try half as hard to get all the attention that she's getting from you and your gangs. And you don't have half her followers and your men not only gave her shine, gave her shine what was supposed to be your shine. So they gave the shine away to her, but they gave her access to their platforms. And what really burns y'all asses is, is that despite everything, they still stand by her. And that's why y'all mad. Y'all expected those niggas to see the light and they didn't. Y'all expected them to give a damn and they don't. Y'all expected them to consider y'all feelings and they don't. Y'all, you know, y'all think that talking bad is a, about her is a good look for y'all, and it's not. Y'all expected them to give her the boot or escort her off the set, and they won't. Y'all are fucking pathetic, and this adult-sized tantrum y'all have been throwing for over a week now has been shameful, to say the least. And the fact that she, the pussy here is. The fact of the matter is you got curved by a basic ass group of niggas for a basic ass Becky. And for all your looks, you're still not the chosen ones. And I would be angry about that too if I were you. But don't fret manosphere pets. I know the truth hurts. But let that be a lesson to you. In fact, that's another lesson that we gave you bitches on trying way too hard to get and keep a man's attention. So if you're going to watch us, at least pay attention and try to learn something. If you had listened to anything we said all this time, your statements would have been more powerful Powerful if you weak bitches had bossed up on these niggas and walked the fuck away. That's all yes. you had to do. Had you taken the dicks out your ears and actually listened to what we have been saying, you would have heard that part. But I guess it sucks to be you. So please go and get some help. 
some counseling and some self-worth about yourselves before talking shit because I assure you that I can and will sign your doctor's notes to excuse your absences from YouTube. Personally, I don't think you'll be missed though. Now, assume the fucking position and get back on your knees, which is where your services are needed the most. Talk to us after you get done kissing the asses of the lowest men on the totem pole, which is what you are best at. Only then can you talk to us about anything and not a moment sooner. Oh yeah, and I haven't forgotten about your comrade. Anybody whose ass was made in Taiwan should probably be the fuck quiet. <laughs> My ass is homegrown. There's nothing a decent weightlifting program and a set of squats couldn't have gotten you. That was just lazy. So here's a tip. Whey protein, creatine, and glutamine is the concoction of champions. No thanks required. See, I'm tired of these asses that were made by Fisher Price trying to talk shit about real women when you had to buy your ass, honey. I did not. Keep that in mind before you call somebody a divester when it's y'all bitches getting murked. And you'll be lucky if your body doesn't start rejecting those foreign ass objects you call body parts or the adipose tissue in your ass doesn't go necrotic after the cells start dying off, whichever pr procedure that you had done. Be careful running your mouth, bitch. You may need somebody like me to reverse it sooner rather than later. See, the set of bimbos should have asked somebody before you tried it. We ain't Shadiah Coke divesters of yesterday over here. When you go there, we're going to meet you right where you are. And I promise y'all will get tired of me getting your ass dragged long before I get tired of doing it. Now, on with the show, my lovely lady. That part. Ladies, the Manosphere Mammies have spoken and they told you to shut the fuck up. Fortunately, that's not going to happen. Um, you might need to look in the mirror and 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 you shut the fuck up, uh, crown chest. Uh tat 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 it up, ma'am. Leave me the fuck alone. I know that you have a whole bunch of problems, right? Because you still deal with nakers. And, and, and you get a pass because you, you, you're not all the way there and you're not supposed to pick on the, you know, mentally, eh, can't say that either. But, ma'am, just, just stop. Just stop. We have become your content over there, mammies. And guess what? Tyrone is not going to reward you for it. But I have a feeling you already know that. Listen, back to the show, like she said, the weave. Oh, my God. When all of this shit first started, huh? Your weave was a problem. They wanted a natural woman. So you went around this motherfucker and stopped relaxing, stopped doing whatever. Instead of doing what made you feel good, they went on ahead and told you they didn't provide, build, problem solve, be fathers to their children or none of that shit because your hair was fake. Well, come to find out, that's what they really wanted to do. Huh? They really wanted to do that. What in the hell? Is this shit here? What the fuck? And, and guess what, ladies? This is my problem. I told y'all a long fucking time ago. These motherfuckers, they hate you because they ain't you. Things that you could do, they did not, they, they wanted to do it. They know full well that when a woman, because a woman, she gets judged on her looks all the time by society. So she did enhancements, she did the makeup, she did all of that shit. And make no mistake about it, black men know that. But to keep you in your place, they have to tell you, no, you're supposed to be marching. No, you can't get your confidence up. No, you can't do your self-esteem like that. But they know that when men lose their hair, they could go zero or, or no. They don't look any, they, they don't look viral, um, what do you call it, viral, right? When they bald in and looking like a, a crusty ass George Jefferson around this bitch. They know losing your hair can do something to your self-esteem. So they on here doing the same shit with the same packets of hair that they told you to stop using. They did. Listen, this shit y'all see dangling from this man's head. That is for crochet braids. How about that part? Listen, I cannot. Miss uh, Kiss Clip, are you dusty or is this your account? I am not dusty. My, 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 look at all that weave. Oh Anybody want the mammies? I know. The mammies want to tell me why the mammies in the Georgia think exactly like the mammies in New York and California. Let them keep chasing these cicadas. 
as my girls say, and they're gonna remain at the bottom. They keep worrying about their death, their their birth rate, they're dying in the hospital, but yet your men don't bill you anything. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna stop doing a career. I'm doing it and going the weave business industry right now. And as far as all that bleach, we bleach. No, it looks like they're the ones, the big who's the bleachers. They probably spend more money on cosmetic than we do. Listen, do anybody agree? Th these hairdos that they're getting cost anywhere from 200 to $275. And I've seen them as high as 800 fucking dollars. And they told these women, stop buying that 99 cent pack of hair. Cause you look ridiculous, bitch. You went and bought the same 1199 pack, slapped it on top of your dusty ass head because you wanted to feel better. See, because they, the bad bitches in the community, they, their self-esteem can be kept up and you keep it up. That's the crazy part. They told you, you was a clown and all this types of shit because you wore weave. Right. And then they slapped that same shit on, on their head. Kyrie, you got anything on this? Well, they've been doing this for eons. Now, history lesson. Y'all remember those pictures from the 50s, like Nat King Cole wearing a damn conch. But, you know, black women, we shouldn't relax our hair. But they were relaxing their hair. They're wearing weave, as you see in this. They they always, they like you said, they hate, they hate us because they ain't us. And they'll do anything to avoid being men. Mm-hmm. Mm. So when your self-esteem is low, you go ahead and make some enhancements, huh? Y'all, black women and white men serve the same function as they do in their respective communities. Black women and white men are the providers, the protectors, the problem solvers. They're the ones that keep their counterpart self-esteem up. This is why you're seeing this type of shit right here, because he's the bad bitch. Didn't we have a rapper just recently say he was a bad bitch? Excuse me. He said it to your fucking face and people was laughing and carrying on with it. And I didn't find the shit funny whatsoever. But like I was saying to y'all, right, let, let me get these dusty fucks off of here so I can show y'all something real quick. See, OK, yes. whenever y'all was on some bullshit and you was having crazy weaves, as they call them and all that shit there, they were clowning you. But look at what you did in return. Clown. I support the man weave slash unit 100%. To see the confidence and the smiles on their faces is heartwarming. What? After all that dragging they did of you, you got bum bitches in comment sections mm -hmm. saying this type of shit about the same niggas that told you that what they're doing, they should not be doing. Go ahead, Aaliyah. I, I, I'm, I can't. I, 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 this wouldn't be so rich if they weren't using your same wig caps, track glue, weave glue, wig glue, and every goddamn thing else. And my thing is, they're using the fact that black women do use these techniques on our hair to justify why they're doing it. But none of y'all wear all these wigs and weaves, y'all don't need to be saying nothing. But my thing is, y'all have talked shit about that for how long? You, it wasn't like you were necessarily supportive of it. So I find it very fucking hypocritical. But then again, I would expect no less from their group. Um, for y'all to have talked all that bullshit about black women and our hair all these years only to turn around and do the same thing. So now I think it's safe to say that you motherfuckers was hating the entire time and you secretly wanted to do what the fuck we were doing. You just didn't know how to do it. And now that you've practiced it and you figured out how to steal our techniques, now you're doing the same exact fucking thing. Really? So let's just be honest. The wigs and weaves were never your problem. You just yeah. wanted to, you wanted to be us. That's what well, it was. Well, you know, a white man started that. The first one started doing it on YouTube. He sure did. I forgot his name. Well, here's mm -hmm. the deal. The reason they even went to him is because I told you they love being up under white males' nuts. They absolutely do. And Keon, I don't know what you're doing back there, bringing up two and three accounts, your camera on, your camera's off, and all this shit here. I don't know what you got going on, but darling, I, I, hold up a second. Keon, are you dusty? All right, bye, Keon. I ain't got time for that shit tonight. Let me go yeah, ahead and, see, and toss you. That's what it comes down to. They just needed to figure out how to do it. And if they, if the white man is who they got it from, again, it's always them or us. It's, it's always them or us. So now 
I guess that could be their excuse. You learned it from the white man. Y'all claim y'all learned everything else from the white man. How about y'all learn how to build shit the way the white man does? Can we do we have a deal on that? Can you figure out how to get a fucking job and hire people, employ others like the white man does? It ain't Can you do that? Happen. It ain't gonna never happen, right? It ain't gonna never fucking happen. Ever. <laughs> Speaking uh, of being up under white men, go ahead, Kyra, because I'm getting ready to go for the fuck in again. Oh, I was just going to add to Aaliyah's point. Tyrone, could you learn how to grow food like the white man? I mean, I see how y'all are in Africa begging white men to come back to Zimbabwe because y'all can't figure out how to put a seed in the ground, water it, and keep it pushing. Excellent point. That part that they actually did. That's not something she made up. Look it up. They got rid of the white farmers in Zimbabwe and they had to ask them to come back because they didn't know how to grow food. These Can I ask uh, 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 for something? What's up? Okay. Uh, all of you uh, diaspora dudes over in the motherland, can you please ask Zaddy? They're right over there in Europe. Ask them how to put up a fucking government. Mm. You, don't want you know, to... with infrastructure and hospitals and schools and roads. They know Zaddy going to take care of everything. That's why they, they, they don't know how to do it, number one. And number two, they're not worried about anything like that because Zaddy has always taken care of them. Always. See, that, that's what you call cutting your nose off to spite your face. See, you tried to be smart asses and went over there and kicked them out. And now you're finna see you didn't know what the fuck you were doing from the beginning and you still don't know what the fuck you were doing. So now we're finna see what's what. Y'all got what you wanted and you put them out. So now you need to learn how to produce and do it on your own. See, this is what this is what you see a lot in this community. People who talk a lot and know very little. They they're so stuck on trying to be smart asses all the time. And the shit usually ends up backfiring always. Do y'all you know Uganda irony? did that? Do y'all see the irony in the fact that these motherfuckers talk about 400 years of slavery where they worked the fields? <laughs> you worked planting shit. And don't know how to do it. How about that part, stupid motherfuckers? Okay, let's go. They didn't learn a goddamn thing. Well, look at here. Your rappers also like white men because some of your most famous rappers name themselves after white men. Y'all know who this is on the left. That right there is Nas. Okay, originally Nas Escobar named after Pablo Escobar. See, this is the thing. Y'all following around a group of derelicts, a group of, I don't even want to call them has-beens because they never was, right? They are so fucking beta that they talk about cultural appropriation in their music and then turn around and steal a white man's name for their goddamn song. I can't. Let's go because there's a bunch of them. Yo, Gotti. Now, look, listen, listen. And uh, there's Eddie on the right. Yeah, he 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 was a motherfucker named after a mafioso named John Gotti. What? I thought they were evil. I thought they were horrible. I thought they were albinoids. I thought they were fucked the fuck up. Hmm. Let's keep going because this is some bullshit right here. I'm and stop calling my goddamn name. We all know this ugly motherfucker on the left. He looks very unfortunate. His name is Scarface, right? After the cult classic, Scarface. Listen, I can't. Snapple. I don't know who the fuck this this. <laughs> don't he look terrible? He's from a group called Ghetto Boys. Girl, he 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 was he was everything back in the day. Girl, what? Like. No, he looked like he had an IEP. He can't read out loud. He needed a helmet. Come on now. <laughs> the ladies in the in the chat made a good point. Jay Z, he named his record label Rockefeller after another white man. Y'all don't know who Zaddy is. Your black man does. He know who the boss around this motherfucker. He know who runs shit so much so he can come in your face literally and figuratively, right? And then turn around and tell you, uh, mm -mm, they evil. You know, you're a bad winch if you fuck with them. They can tell you that kind of shit and you go for it, man. What? And see, they, 
it's, it's the cultural appropriation argument for me. I find this shit rich, seeing as how they love saying that black women want to be white so bad when they wear blonde wigs, considering how much shit they've been stealing from white men all this time. And we know they want to be them so bad they can taste it. So the white and Italian men said that they gonna need their shit back with interest. And it's ridiculous how much these people have used the Gotti and Gambino family's names. I, I'm surprised they let this shit fly for this long, but I guess because it was hip hop music, they just gave them a pass. But th they've been doing this shit like this. Darling, I, I just, the thing is, the receipts are there. And you mammy bitches keep going. Divesta, DZ, oh, bad winch. Oh, y'all, some self haters. It looked like the men that you're caping for hate the fuck out of themselves. Oh, uh, can we shout out Manuel Noriega, that 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 drug lord and military goddamn dictator? Can we can we yell him out? And this nigga on the left, right, spelled his name a little bit different, but he was also named for him. He was also named for him. Let's keep going because we could do this shit all goddamn day. Raquan the Chef's original name was Lex Diamond when he first came out, okay? He changed his name to Raquan the Chef, but let me tell you something about that Raquan shit. That's after some Asian shit, but let's keep going, all right? Lex Diamond was a bootlegger, an Irish bootlegger from the Prohibition era. Why are all of these niggas <sighs> naming themselves after white men if they're so evil? Why? I need answers. I'm dead ass serious. You don't see what's going on here. You don't hear. Oh, and let's not forget um Noriega's um his um ace boom coon capone named after Al Capone because see he was quite part of a duo. No, it was Noriega Capone and Noriega. Absolutely. So he was named after Al Capone. That's why I say it just does not stop. I got. I know exactly where you're going with this because they've been doing this shit. But let's just be real. It wasn't just the hip hop industry. They've done this across entertainment. Period. Hell, even the WWE. Stay. Uh huh. Hello. Oh, I'm here now. I don't know what the hell happened right there. Oh no, I was about to say they've been doing this shit across the board. Because hell, even with the WWE, stay with me. Who remembers the most famous era? In WWE history, that was the Attitude Era, correct? If you are a '90s baby, you know the Attitude Era, early 2000s. You are, you know the Attitude Era. Well, if you remember that, you know that Triple H was one of the greatest heels of all time, right? People loved him so much that they hated him. But guess what? Triple H was also known as what? The Game. Yeah, <laughs> guess what? He stole that man shit too. He stole that man shit too. Triple H was the game, the cerebral assassin. Yeah, you stole that man shit. He he gonna need his shit back. Mm. I'm surprised they don't sue. Why they don't sue him? Now if White Zaddy sued him. It's oh uh, look at the white man taking us down. But you're stealing all their stuff. Here you're stealing is, everything they're clip. doing. Kiss clip. It ain't even worth it. Half of these motherfuckers end up broke. Right, they ain't the only ones um that's on that GoFundMe. These mammies, these niggas be on it too. You do you know that what is that fucking Nate dog? They had to take up a collection to bury his motherfucking ass. They ain't got shit, so they would spend more on legal fees trying to sue these niggas than to just say fuck them, let them pay homage, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, we could do this all day, <laughs> all goddamn day. Don't forget about Daz Dillinger. Right, named after Dillinger, the goddamn mafioso, as well. This is a problem. It's a problem, and these women keep playing in your fucking face. So much so, this motherfucker can name himself Jim Jones after. The, now, remember, they pro black after a cult leader that had a whole bunch of black folk unalive themselves in a fucking field. I shit you the fuck not. But it is what it is. Ebony, what you got on this, please? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> black men must be stealing from everybody because they're always stealing from black women. Mm. Uh, they're stealing the hair. They steal money. Sometimes it's the coochie. So they steal everything. And the thing is, they have to keep black women down so that the black women will just, you know, just hand it over to them. 
they've they always no project, they've always projected their insecurities on black women, right? Let always. Me, let me find out that mammies that you really like this shit. Let me find out that you know the tea and are choosing to ignore it for real, for real. Because this this ain't it. This is not it. And this is not always some old shit, y'all. Just yesterday, just yesterday, everybody looks up to Sean Puffy Combs, especially in the late 90s and early 2000s. He, they used to call him a mogul, a mogul. This is your boss, the one that's taking from somebody else who happens to be a white guy. It's the song where he was paying homage to Biggie Smalls, who also is named after white men. Pull up. Pull the fuck up. It doesn't stop. Okay? He was supposedly paying homage with that I'll Be Missing You song. He was so disingenuous that he couldn't even pay homage with his own creativity because, number one, he didn't miss the nigga because black men don't like black folks. They just don't. But he stole the fucking sample, didn't ask for it. Do y'all know how much $5,000 a day is? That's millions of dollars a year. Okay? Where's the hospital? Oh, I thought about... I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm just saying. I, I, no. I can't... I can't yeah, one more thing before you go, Aaliyah. Check it out. Um, Sting, that's the guy on the left, said, these guys... I'm putting air quotes up. These guys always do stuff and don't consider the legality of it until the consequences come it's on this here article look it up when he said these guys who the fuck do you think they was talking about hmm go ahead Aaliyah. this is this is stupid as fuck oh i just wanted to um bring up somebody else i saw that you left off the list benny siegel um who oh, you yeah. think he stole that from benny siegel bugsy siegel Okay, another one. See, that's why I say it just does not stop. But see, this shit with these songs don't surprise me either. They've always done it. They and then black and bad, like this the best shit they've ever heard and don't even know where the shit came from or who wrote most of the shit the majority of the time. Can't buy me love was the Beatles and Black Street redid it. Hell, they several of them have hijacked come together by the Beatles. All out of love. That was Air Supply when Jagged Edge stole it. And Superstar was the Carpenters before Luther Vandross redid it. I hate the bunch of bubbles. I mean, it goes on and on. It just does not stop. So uh, since you guys don't give a fuck about the R word, I hate saying the R word. That sounds like a fucking child. You two, come on now. Since y'all don't care about femicide, you don't care about, you know, S.A. and our words you don't care about being at the bottom rung your schools are tore up your streets are tore up you're facing eviction faster than anybody else the goddamn stores are leaving your community all you care about is dick so the reason i'm showing you all of this is your man ain't got no dick bitch he's up oh. under the balls of another man go ahead i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you didn't interrupt murmur corn i see you back there go ahead uh, two points. One, the ladies in the chat also brought up Tupac's alternative stage name of Machiavelli. Machiavelli was an Italian writer who wrote Good The Prince. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and rem you remember Two Life Crew did that song Banned in the USA to get sympathy for, say, they just so racist and that's why they want to censor our speech, you know, when they were fighting to call black women bitches and hoes. Y you know, you remember what song they put that those lyrics over? Bruce Spring Springsteen's Born in the USA. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's, yep. And what's crazy is you mammies were out here on that cultural appropriation shit looking dumber than a bag of rocks. Baby, your men are some of the biggest cultural appropriators out here. I'm sorry. It's just the truth. They are completely worthless. I don't know what else to tell you. Welcome to the pan panel, Murmur Corn. Good evening, everyone. I just wanted to come on and say, not only are they naming themselves after all of these so-called horrible white men, look at the white men they chose to name themselves after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of gangsters, them with some dictators. kind of record. Gangsters, mm -hmm. dictators, drug lords. So what, I, I'm so confused by the mammies who keep saying, Oh, they're just trying to bring them down. They're just trying to bring them down. Just like Mammy Knowles decided to do that entire 
uh, docu, whatever the heck she did, saying that Jay Z's not some drug dealer when he's been calling himself a nigga and a uh, and the best drug dealer that the freaking New York has ever seen for the last twenty years. So miss us with the BS because they chose to name themselves after drug dealers. And that goes to show you exactly what their character is. Exactly. It's embarrassing. During that whole, you know, cultural appropriation bullshit, I'm like, you got to be kidding. Okay, so if somebody bring up this music, right, they switched over to box braids. Oh, white girls are wearing box braids, blah, blah, blah. Listen, here's, here's the secret. Ladies, your men don't have anything. Therefore, a lot of your gripes go unnoticed because you don't have a power force behind those gripes. All it is is a bunch of whining. And then some of these Beckys are clapping back saying, I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm going to wear my hair how I want to. Meanwhile, you got your men clowning your hair. So instead of telling them to get the fuck out your face, you turn to the Becky and be like, don't wear the box braids. Y'all are nuts. And these are uh, the mammies are up in arms, not over Marcus Houston. I wonder if he's gonna go to jail because you know it. it say that girl, he, that, that girl he married had went missing. That's what they say. But the mammies are up in arms. We all know why they're up in arms. Had he, he, he didn't pick one of them. Everybody know that Marcus Houston had that girl before she was of legal mm -hmm. age. You're not gonna make me believe he did. He just started sleeping while after she reached legal age. That's what we be talking about. They want to talk about the age of consent, but nine times out of ten, more often than not, those men have already been messing with those girls before they reached the age of consent. We just not gonna play these fucking games. Most of the time, when they pop up pregnant, is after the age of consent. But the, we not gonna pretend like that person just started sleeping with them. No, that was some shit they had. Had been doing that's why it's those laws exist for a reason they used to call it statutory r yeah those laws were set in place for a reason they well, had you know, to do it that way well you know Aaliyah, um that girl supposed to been had done went missing so where was she and all of a sudden and, you and you know she you... was with him he had her the whole time and then he they he came out and tried to pretend like oh we I, we didn't do nothing until she became of legal age. No, you had her the whole time. Let's just be clear on that. The feds need to do something. They they might end up doing something like okay, you know if that's true, you know, and she really went missing like then he was with, he going to jail because some yeah, people had to put like a lot of taxpayer money in that. Hmm? That cycle be continuing. I was looking at the chat and somebody said that uh, Marcus Houston had sex with Raz B. And, he and did. The person, yeah. yeah. And, and the thing is, they're a, bunch of sexual, they're a bunch of sexual degenerates. Do you understand mm -hmm. me? And let me ask you a question, Mammy, since your men are so motherfucking masculine and everything. Why the fuck are they making beard weaves? What I thought, you know, if they full of testosterone and virulness and all this good shit, that you wouldn't need something like that. You know what's commiserate with this? How they clowned you for your eyebrows when you drew them on? Right. I don't see any of y'all, Mammy, since this is your men, coming for them for this bullshit. Putting, gluing masculinity to their face. I can talk about your eyelashes. I, it is what it is. I don't wear butterflies on my fucking eyelids. You, though, you let him talk your shit, his shit when he's basically doing the same goddamn thing. He didn't give a fuck about your alopecia. He didn't give a fuck about your age. And you, your hair may be thinning out. None of that shit. He just told you you was a bald head bitch and you need to take that weave out. And here y'all go starting a whole fucking movement. Natural hair movement trying to go. Y'all even made Afro wigs trying to impress these niggas. I am so done. You hear me? I am done. That looks DZ, <laughs> you know what's really terrible about this is we know they don't bathe. So not only are they <laughs> gluing fake processed booty hair to their faces, they're not bathing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funkier than a mutt. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Imagine the mildew and uh, the just the bugs that probably get caught up in there. It's nasty. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's god. a lot of glue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of glue. Oh my god! Child, this is nuts. It it's it's so obvious, but it's almost as if you're talking to a wall that's drying. Mammy, they don't love you. 
Mammy, they don't have anything against weave. They just don't like it on you because it boosts your self-esteem. Your self-esteem can't be high when dealing with these motherfuckers. That's all it is. Okay? Child, I can't. That looks terrible. You're not going to tell me he was able to wash his face with all that shit on there. So you just... That looks awful. It lo- it doesn't even look like a real beard. It looks a mess. Now, Aaliyah, aren't they contributing to the billion dollar hair industry that black women supposedly, that's where all our money going? Oh, all that glue this dude just used? <laughs> no, it's only a problem when you do it, okay? It, and well, can we get thanks to the Brad that was putting it on? He did a good job. Can we get a clap? Look, it's only a problem when you do it. Ladies, have you ever thought about this? And I gotta say this very fucking carefully, Okay. The multi-letter mafia, okay? When the Manosphere told you you was dressing like a slut, when you was wearing a bunch of weave, when you was just doing the most, just acting a fool, you're flamboyant, you're twerking, you're doing all this shit here. I'm not with that shit, but this is what they told you, okay? As soon as they want to be you, they act just like the bitches that they hate. Have y'all ever noticed that? The weave comes, the twerking comes, the flamboyant attitude comes, the loud comes, all the the fucking dancing and falling to the floor. All that shit, the same shit they said that you shouldn't be doing, whenever they identify as you, they do that same shit. That alone is a fucking receipt that they they don't like you. You know, they don't have a problem with those actions. They just don't like you. Okay, had to put that out there too, my bad. Didn't mean to talk over nobody. And then we'll turn around and tell you you have how you have culturally appropriated from their community. That's what they that's what kills yes. me. How they, they have the nerve to do that and then say black women stole the shit from them. I said, oh, miss. Oh, well, I guess since we're in this vein, you know how they call black women who date or marry white men ghetto gaggers? Mm-hmm. Uh you know, the multi-letter mafia, who are they really busting a wide open for? They're trying to get zaddy themselves. Who's the real ghetto gaggers? Absolutely. All the, the original. Ones, the ones that I showed y'all earlier, right, that are of that community, all of their significant others are zaddies. So by default, they know that they ain't worth the fuck. They not even willing to date them. <laughs> Black men not even willing to date each other when they identify with that community. Another thing that they said you were, were gold diggers. Being that they have no gold, I find that absolutely hilarious. But let me see what this is. Team, a man is behind bars accused of swindling dozens of women in a dating scam. Los Angeles police arresting him in California, but say he conned women in several states, including right here in Arizona. And police think that more victims could still be out there. Team 12's Nicole Zymack joins us live from the Alert Center with the story of a stolen heart and stolen money. Nicole. Yeah, Mark, police say that Wilson Jackson targeted single women on social media and on dating sites, luring them with dinners and promises of a relationship, then leaving them high and dry, sometimes even stealing their credit cards. He was a gentleman. He picked me up from the airport. He opened up cars. He paid for the movie. He cooked me breakfast in the morning. He was not. Uh oh, sorry, mammies. I know that's triggering for you whenever black men date out, whether they swindle on them, beat them, kill them, or whatever. Just go ahead and calm your nerves, take your blood pressure pill, breathe. It's going to be okay. You don't want no parts of that. Was not aggressive. So claims Acacia Odenot. Los Angeles police call her victim number eight of Wilson Edward Jackson, who she met online. If he has many social media outlets, from Facebook to Twitter to many dating sites. Acacia says Will Jackson, as she calls him, bought a plane ticket for her to come from Phoenix to Los Angeles for the night. It was like, well, why don't you just come out this weekend? You're not doing anything. But when she got to the airport, the ticket wasn't valid. That's when she says she got a text with this photo claiming he was at the bank trying to figure out why his credit card wasn't working. So she bought the ticket herself. They had a wonderful Friday night back in 2018 in an L.A. suburb where he lived. He took her to dinner, the movies. Cops say the plan was always the same. He would wait until they would fall asleep, 
or go to the restroom to go through her belongings. Acacia says he took photos of her credit cards and... He did physically take checks from the center of my checkbook. Jackson blocked her on social media and let... Calm down again, mammies. I know that's your type. <laughs> that's your type. You probably even matter now. Oh, Lord. Allegedly had already moved on to his next conquest. So one of the first couple of charges on my in my account was for a plane ticket. Um, literally two days after I came home from L.A., he had flown another victim to out of Dallas, Texas. Jackson's been busted in the past, and now authorities have the suspect they say was stealing more than just hearts. This so he's a, the black tender <laughs> swindler. These <laughs> motherfuckers can't. You know what? They, he, that motherfucker watched Netflix, watched that documentary, and had the nerve to try to recreate it. Why can't they do anything productive that they see? Jesus. This he, ugly. he is not fine. I'm no, sure. he's ugly. <laughs> Y'all know the mammy type. They don't, they can look like a bucket of shit in the face. And these bitches, well, he nice though. You know, the, well, you, we, you know he I'm got the, 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 the Derek Jackson bullshit. You know how they are when it comes to this, this type right here. And we and our Caucasian sisters gonna wake up, but you know what? You you can I have them. You can have them. Fuck you can have I don't give a damn. They can take a nap all the fuck they want to. That is their problem now. Fuck them. Right? Uh, let let them deal I, with I, all I that bullshit. I'm my sisters. I'm not going that mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. Now, well, this well, you know, the why... mammies are get jealous. The mammies get jealous of other races of women because they want their kings. But I don't want a king. I don't care. I'm not finna hate another race woman. And I get what you're saying, but I don't want no king. I got a brat, baby, and he's nice. Yes. Mm. Yes, let them have them. That, I mean, uh -uh. now see, this is why they need to leave these women alone. They're always <laughs> trying to set them up. My leave thing women is, alone. Be Becky is feeling the pain now, and I feel no ways about it. I mm -hmm. really don't, to be honest okay. with you, because they were they have also been their co-conspirators in a lot of this bullshit against mm -hmm. black women. It ain't just oh, been really? black men who was sitting up okay. talking shit. Oh, yes, really, because I remember a lot of them back in the day was sitting up talking shit to black women. This do y'all think this shit just started with Pearly? Over in the manosphere, mm -hmm. these women were sitting up here. They've been doing that shit, testing up, telling, trying to throw daggers at black women. Talking oh, I didn't about, even know that. We know how to. We know how to treat our men. We know but how to. Doing that our to our black men? Yes. yes. Oh, please. That you, they um, sit up here talking shit to black women, talking about our hair is real. We know how to treat our men, and y'all this and y'all that, and y'all just jealous because we took y'all men. And they, yeah, they had a whole lot to fucking say now. So now that he got his foot in their ass too, I feel no way. Okay, I, I, I refrain the system. I, I take that back. <laughs> oh, listen, I take that back before you, before you go, Kyra, and, and you go next. Y'all, they have been doing, you know, the, the Beckys have been co-conspirators for a long time. They have been making videos so long, they were on flip phones with the bullshit, okay? I'm talking about, if y'all go look at some of them decade-old videos, I'm talking about it's real fuzzy. You can tell it's the early 2000s, mid-2000s. They have been doing that shit. I, what I'm not going to do is trauma bond with a bitch that, uh, that didn't believe you because they didn't believe you at first. But now that all these uh, beige babies is going down, hey, they already know what the tea is, and I'm not here for it. Let no ma'am. You have to keep them. Go ahead, Kyra. Oh, I was just going to add to Aaliyah. Oh, yes, I do remember those videos from way back in the day. Uh, Becky and them, they would get on those Manosphere panels and talk shit to black women and talk about how... Like you said, their hair is real. We're so unfeminine and yada, yada, yada. So while I don't necessarily wish harm on them, I'm not in a dither on when they catch their issue. They, you remember, they kept saying how much better they were than us. And it's the, all these black male issues are our fault. So since y'all are so much better, y'all figure it out. Yeah, because remember, they were going around saying that they were taking, we're just mad because they're taking our men. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, this is not our men. But that was what they were saying back then. We know we're not talking about, let me go ahead and correct that. But this is what they were going around. That we just hating on them and we just know how to treat our men. And Becky was just saying all kinds, she was talking all kinds of fly shit back then. Remember that? So my thing is, I don't forget shit. 
And while I don't have any ill will towards them, because see, I don't give a fuck. I want to fuck the shit out of Becky's brother. And if a daddy fine, I'm going to try him too. But so I don't give a fuck about that. But my thing is, don't think all have been forgotten because they have not. I don't wish no ill will on them. I just say, I feel no ways about it. I don't. Because when we were trying to tell y'all how the fuck they were, you didn't want to hear it. You thought you knew you knew better, right? All right, then. So now you're feeling the pain. Mm-hmm. I kind of see where... You said... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Snapple trying to Go say ahead, something. Snapple. Next, remember, sorry, I kind of see where Kiss the Clip is coming from, though, because it's kind of like... I encourage Bekisha and them to continue and, you know, take the canes off the black women's hands, you know, go do, do, I want them to do their thing and keep on keeping on. So they want to get scammed and bopped upside the head by Taekwondarius and them keep more, hey, more power to them. I encourage it. So I see what she means because it's like the mammies are so triggered by non-black women specifically because they're mad that they're the Taekwondarius' preference. So it's, in that sense, it's just kind of like, I just have nothing to give, you know? It's like, go ahead, girl. Do your well, thing. I'm glad y'all hipping me to that. I didn't know, the, you know, the white women, I didn't know they were doing that. Um, but like I said, I don't want no black man. I'm not interested in them. I'm like Aaliyah. I want the brat, the brother, the father. <laughs> you know, I want them all. If they don't want them, I'll take them. You remember when Trick Daddy said that all it will take is for Becky to learn how to fry chicken and then all black men will be gone? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, ladies, black males. Okay. So look, DZ, if that's all it will take, maybe one life we can have a cooking tutorial, some fried chicken, some real macaroni and cheese. We're going to need some of the ladies from the diaspora to get in on it, too, to throw to show the jerk chicken and foo foo. We can get this done. We can put out a whole live cooking. Take them. That yep. look, Trick Daddy had them up in arms, and I remember when that happened. Black women was pissed the fuck off. Some of them responded saying that they can fry chicken and they ain't better than us and all that shit. Doing the mammy shit, right? Did you ever step back and see who was saying that to you? Trick Daddy looks like a cancerous bladder. Do you understand me? You letting him send you on a rat race, girl? You ain't there. The elevator do not go all the way to the top. It doesn't. Percy, your camera's on, okay? <clears throat> and um, you look in a hot, ratchet-ass mess. Um, people can't come up here with their camera on. As st- what is that? Astrona? Percy, Astrona? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you. But you're going to have to cut that goddamn camera off. And um, you're going to end up getting dragged. I'm just letting you know there is no secrets here. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> I can't. Oh, th- they found one person and now they running with it. Are we though? Are we? A man is paying the price for an online romance scheme. And John Martin Hill will serve seven years in prison for conning a woman out of her life savings. $80,000. Gwinnett police say that Hill found the woman on Match.com. How is something that looks like that going to be able to uh, scan, scam somebody out of their money? I just want you to take a look at that. He looks like a testicle, right? He looks exactly like an inverted upside down testicle. He was able to get $80,000. I think they'd be... <sighs> Do y'all believe that BBC Mints is that? Because you don't care what these motherfuckers look like, what they do. You don't care their criminal records. You, you don't give a fuck. You just look black and be like, come fuck me. Is that is that what it is? Because I promise you, if you flip his head upside down, it looks like a ball. Okay? I just wanted to put that out there. Um, convinced her they were getting married, then took her money and ran off. Apparently, he convinced her that he was a guy worth millions of dollars and then scammed her out of thousands. Detectives believe, and they think, that he has pulled the scam a whole bunch mm-hmm. of times. Hill was arrested in Tennessee in June, was brought back to Georgia, where he pleaded guilty to theft and perjury charges, so that's at least two states. Wow. All right. Come- Did y'all see uh, the white guy next to him? He didn't want to be sitting next to that man. I just have to go ahead and <laughs> put that out there with his criminal ass. Y'all, watch, 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 watch Chad. Took her money and ran off. Apparently- he like, what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck is this sitting next to me? Listen, if if the shit I talk had a face, that that would be it right there. 
He like, get me to f- listen. I done fucked up. Just just make me guilty. Put me in jail. Do whatever. But please get this upside down testicle away from my motherfucking ass. Por favor. Let me put my banner up. Jesus Christ. DZ, he might stink. Have you ever thought about that? Because you know they don't bathe. Yeah, I know they funky as fuck. They really are. Um, Percy Estonia, I've already figured out that you're dusty. Um, here's the deal. Your motherfucking ass is up here trolling and, it, you know, just good, 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 good. He went away. Thank. Um, it was um, one of those. Yeah. Uh, Mm-mm. The nope. cic- I thought it was either a cicada or cicadarella. Thank you. Uh, shout out to Melanie for the cicadarella. Yeah. There's a, if you look at it right, there's a, a name that's male and then it's a slash female name. So it's really weird. Then its cam its camera came on, and um, yeah, it looked like a a brown geyser. <laughs> Real much Were we gonna see titties and dick at the same time? I don't know. Maybe very possible. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up, girls. No, don't don't throw up. It I can't see good. something like that. That hurts me. <laughs> Here's another thing, y'all, that they accused y'all of doing, but they were doing the whole time. Y'all remember the dude that said all black women have at least one and a half baby daddy. I don't know how you have a half baby daddy, but I guess that's some black shit. Your so-called men have multiple baby mamas the same time you have multiple baby daddies. And then you jump on your knees to try to go ahead and convince him that this ain't that. It is that. Ma'am, the stuff that you doing, he's also doing it. And I know why you're doing it. You keep trying over and over and over and over to try to find that unicorn. He does not exist. The problem is staying in that community, you're going to get the consequences of it. He isn't. The average amount of child support that a black male pays is $40 a month. That's not a consequence. You, ma'am, though, they say your market value goes down. That's crazy that they still using y'all like resources and, and, and items. But they say your sexual market value goes down. They call you 10 bags of hoes and five bags of sluts because you got multiple baby daddies. When you were trying to stay in the black community looking for the non-existent unicorn that goes on. Okay. All the shit that they say y'all were doing. They were doing the whole time. And you, ma'am, you have not held them accountable. So your community looks terrible. You didn't require marriage. You didn't require building. Right. You didn't require them to problem solve for you. You didn't require them to take up for you, provide resources. You they they you didn't require anything. All you require is that he looked like an inverted testicle and he got the pussy. You're weird. You're weird. Percy, please stop clicking that link and, and creating new accounts. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. What happened to the vet all men thing? That I, this I, this question always comes across my mind when I hear about shit like this because they all because since everybody's so fucking big on big on vetting now, what the fuck happened right here? I mean, what what happened with the vetting? Because you know that that's the narrative now that everybody's so hot on. You're supposed to vet all men. Okay, what 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 the fuck happened with the vetting? How does this keep happening? Apparently, ain't nobody getting fucking vetted. If you ask me, they're not. What they mean by that? Let me translate the mammyese. Vet everybody else, but if he's a black man, he, you know you understand where he comes from. You understand what he grew up like. You understand the culture. You really don't have to vet him. But if you take your funky ass outside this community, vet everybody. That's what they meant. What I'm saying is drop them goddamn nakers and then vet everybody else. But they don't like that part because, you know, it makes the black men uncomfortable. You feel me? Sick of the trolls. Excuse me, y'all. Um, What are you? Who, me? What are you? <sighs> Who, me? What do you want? Oh, how you doing? How you doing? No, yeah, I'm person Sprott. I'm person. I'm a black man. Just calling in. No, I can't. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Here's the deal. I can send you to other channels that actually still deal with black males. I know that you have seen other channels with these so-called divesters and so-called swirlers and shit like yeah. that. 
And they still yeah. shut the fuck up a second. And they still okay. talk to black men, right? And they still yes. want to hear your side of the fucking story. And they want to yes. hear what you got to say and what you want. But this is not that motherfucker. Hold up, hold up. I, no, you hold the fuck up. I, you, you've seen this goddamn show before. <laughs> you've seen this shit before. What you're Damn, doing is trolling. That's what, I, I know it. And that, and Zaddy love it like that. You I'm coming, me? hold, hold up. I'm coming here. I can't peace. Up. Don't peace. tell you how to hold up, motherfucker. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Can I just say? Can I just say one thing for you? For you, for y'all, y'all I'm curse, me, curse me out. No, no. y'all curse me out. No, you're Please. a black male, and when I say all, I mean all. I'm talking about from the window to the motherfucking wall. You are included all of us? in that. Every last yeah. one of you. Me too. Every last one. You of included. You. This no. is Sparta. <laughs> Not easy. Wait, hold up. To do him. <laughs> I thought I put his ass up over here. I'm like, God damn. Don't be let him tell nobody. No, DZ, let me let him tell you to hold up. He ain't nobody damn daddy. Like, really? <laughs> I didn't let him tell me shit. I don't know what I, the fuck he got going on. <laughs> I couldn't get shit out, man. You, you didn't have to do that. You, you, you just <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't I'm get crazy. to <laughs> <laughs> what is it hard to understand about all? That means your good uncle. That means the dude that work up at the store. That means your child's teacher. Hmm. That means I told you they were low IQ. You... Say what? <laughs> I told you they were low IQ. <laughs> mm, they don't even have an IQ. Oh, mm-hmm. I want to. I want to also add, and it includes y'all's biracial sons by other women too. They got your African Y chromosome too. <laughs> see, now, see, that's y'all think Kyra don't got no chill now. Nah, nah, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, look, Andrew Tate was one of theirs, one of their sons. Yeah, anything that comes down the line from a black dude, I wouldn't fuck around with it, y'all. It's just, it is what it is. They're born like that. I know y'all seen what happened today when it was breaking news where a 12-year-old black boy and a 17-year-old black boy were arrested today and they did a whole goddamn 20-minute explanation as to what those two little motherfuckers did. They're going to jail for triple homicide. So when I say all, I mean all. I'm not going to engage with any of them. And that includes your minor sons. I won't disrespect your sons, but I am going to walk away. And you need to allow that to happen. Don't let your son hear anything crazy. Because if you come out your mouth crazy at me, what's going to end up happening is your son going to find out what divestment is at five years old. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> don't, don't do that shit. I'm dead ass serious. That's why, I, and yeah, I meant to say, don't got no for the grandma police that's everywhere. I meant to say that because CDZ don't got no chill right now. Her or Kyra, because I, I wasn't even about to say that. But uh, yeah, that is, the, see, we don't want nothing that came from the loins, aka the nut sacks <laughs> of Tyrone. But hey, and, yeah, and let me also say this too. I don't want people to keep saying that just because we all like white men, the women who are on this panel, that every single divested woman likes white men. There are divested women who do prefer Asian men and other types of men. It's not just white only. So I hate that we got to keep putting out all this, these disclaimers. But it's a difference in what we like and what some of our other sisters like. I hate I got to say that, but somebody can't wait to take that shit up out of here and run with it. They think white is just this. They think white is just that. That's what we like. Ain't nobody got to apologize for that. But there are sisters who do like Asian men. You like Asian men, don't you, Kai? Or was it? It might have been somebody Me? else. Me? Huh? I do, too. I date all this up, black. I, I like... I like Brad and Mr. Lee. Okay, yeah. So, there you go. You heard it from Kyra. So, it ain't just... That's not the only thing. Shit, me. I look. I love me a country ass... Oh, boy, I love my husband. A country ass, do for self, very useful, very kind protector and provider. Don't let me see him chopping some wood in the winter. Please don't let me see that because his sweaty ass is going to have to roll around in the hay immediately without a fucking shower. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know you Let's... can't say that because the, uh, the black boys say, you know, white boys, they stink. 
when they sweat, which ain't true. I can almost guarantee that. Here's the thing, and I need to tell you something, Kiss Clip. I, I do. Whatever black people think, I don't give any fucks, okay? You talking about a funky ass. I'm, I'm telling you, I already know that, that black men, don't, they don't bathe. He funky as fuck. So anything that he has an opinion on, it doesn't mean anything. Their preferences don't mean anything to me. What they want in a woman doesn't mean anything to me. That means it for the mammies. They put all that rhetoric out there so mammies don't escape Blackistan. Whatever they prefer, that's on them and the mammies. Okay, I, I you see homeboy just try to come up here and give his side of the story. I don't I don't want to hear it. I've already heard the side of the story growing up. Growing up, I, I found out quickly how black men are, how much they hate their community, how much they're 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 a nuisance. They're not useful whatsoever, and they get unreciprocated love from these bitches that haven't got anything from them, and it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I, I just I can't. <coughs> It's not true. It's not true. Like, um, you know, my bro, uh, I do the guy that I date. He is Caucasian. And all that is a bunch of lie. He don't stink, baby. He smells dang good. Yeah. Damn good. They're, they're amazing. White men are fucking amazing. Now go run back and tell that uh, mammies who are listening. They're amazing. And you know they're amazing. And he's the reason why you can even hear my voice. Because your, your nigga ain't put no Wi-Fi up there. I can trust and believe that. Okay? But he That's also wants funny. to know... He he also wanted to know why black men always begging for them to do stuff for them. He like, baby, why are they always blaming us for everything and want us to do everything for them? I'm a straight man. Y'all sit around and talk about black men to y'all white men. Let me let me look at the know chat. I know. For for the ladies in the chat that date white males, do y'all sit around and talk to your bread about black men? I just I just want to see. Put a one well, in the chat if you do. Hold up, kids, clip. Put a one in the chat if you do. Put a two if you don't. Let me look at my other That's a hell no. Never, ever, 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 ever. I never <laughs> understood women that did that. I don't get that at all. Like, why I the fuck would you understand. be talking about an ashy ass Taekwondarius with your Because with your he's the owner operator, and this guy that he had a black guy working for him, and now he's um he fired him, so he's being racist. And he's saying that he's racist and all that. That's why it came up then. Oh, okay. See, that goes back to those general generalizations and those stereotypes. And when they start talking about how they smell and when they sweat and all this other stuff, oh, mayonnaise, bologna, wet dog. See, it's okay for them to say shit like that, but then when we get up here and say some shit is fucked up because it's negative about them. See, that's the shit that I'm talking about. When they say shit is never considered racist, but these are the stereotypes and the generalizations they can put out there about other people all they want. Because he can't know about the fuck they want to say besides the black man. That's just the conclusion that I've come to that he can say whatever the fuck he wants, but nobody else can. See, but that's just more that generalization. They don't smell like that. Yes, they do shower. Yes, they do have cologne and every goddamn thing else your man men have. What makes you think that they didn't make the shit? They invented the shit. Thank you. Thank you. Everything. Well, well, Leah, I told him, I said, won't you stop hiring him? Well, baby, I can't do that. They're going to get hit with discrimination. And, well, this guy is trying to say he's being racist towards him because he won't let him do what he want to do, basically. That's all they have. And that's not the last time your, your significant other is going to hear that shit. I'm just going to keep mm -hmm. it real with you. They have nothing to barter with and nobody's being racist against them. If you can't do the fucking job, you just can't do the fucking job, bitch. It's reality. Mm -hmm. Period. Yep. You can't show up late. You can't come and go when you please. You can't come in here smelling like pot all the goddamn time. That's what they want. And then as soon as one of these motherfuckers say that somebody's treating them some type of way, here come the mammies marching and protesting and carrying the fuck on. Like crown chess. That well, DG, bitch. A lot of Caucasian men who love black women who date black women, they get kind of scared. I, like I noticed with him, he was he he, he don't want to make a certain move around black boys because they're gonna always go discrimination. So he comes home and he be like, oh, "Baby, uh, uh, I'm not racist. I'm you know I, I'm I'm not this. I'm not, I'm like I know that this guy wants to be home, and then you think you're still gonna make that type of money? Drop no driving trucks. No, you're not. I'm sorry, but you're not gonna make no money." You didn't deliver nothing. 
I'm not Welcome about to that. the panel, Too Salty. How are you, ma'am? Hey, ladies. Thank you for having me, DC. Hey, Too Salty. Hey. Um, I just wanted to just say something respectfully that when we're talking about divestment, not only is it hashtag all, but it means divested in mind. So when you're out with your significant other or even out in general, the topic of black males should not be it. Even if they're complaining to you about them or trying to strike up a conversation, that's just not the topic of of discussion. You can easily deflect and do other things because when you do that, it, um, I think it kind of shows that you still have this connection to Blackistan and it becomes questionable. And I say that because I hear what Kiss the Clip is saying and I'm just going to say, I don't really think she sounds all the way divested. I'm all the way divested. I haven't touched a black man, and I don't. I married a uh, white man at eighteen, sweetheart. Um, mm-hmm. di- div- <laughs> divestment is not about you marrying at a certain age. I'm just listening to what you're saying now, and black male shouldn't even be a topic wherever you are. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I keep telling him. Um, pretty much, don't worry about it. Uh, right now, the dude is trying to sue him. So you messing with my money or I got a problem with that. So he's saying that he's discriminated against him, basically. What nigga Went to hasn't the... said they're being discriminated against? I'm just going to be real with you. What nigga says that he has not been discriminated against? Even some of these right-leaning nakers cry about discrimination when they feel like it. Then they come dipping in the so-called black community for help. But they all say that shit. I'm telling you, those motherfuckers are fucked. They have no way out. They don't know. They, they're not going to be able to help you with anything. And on top of that, y'all, y'all are not the persons that need to be explaining what black men are outside your community. You're not their representative. And on top of that, everybody already knows what a black man is. It's no secret. They just can't say it to you. They can't say it in public. They can't say it on their jobs and Twitters and all that shit like that because they end up in trouble and being accused of what? Racism. But you don't have to explain what's going on with the black community to anybody. They know okay. already. Yeah, I get what she's saying. I, I get what she says. So basically, if he brings something up, just change, die flood, you know, just change the subject. Don't worry about it. I thought I was because I try to be supportive with him. You know, of course, I'd be supportive. And um, he supports me in my career. And so um, what I'll do is I'll just. No, I'm just but other than that, black men don't come up. Black people in general don't come up. I don't even stay around black people. Well, no, that it, it's not just necessarily about your particular situation. That was just something good for the audience, especially those um ones um that are new to interracial dating. That's a good tip for them to keep in mind anyway. Like, period. You may not be new to it, but there are some people that are listening that are new to it that hey when you go out on a date or when you are talking to these men or whatever you're doing with these men do please just try not to make black men a topic of conversation just stay away from that because i mean it's not not just not just you period because that's what i'm saying You're, you're not new to it but there is other people that may be listening that may be new to it And it's like, because what we're trying to avoid is sending out these mixed ass messages that some of these Mm. other platforms send when it comes to women dating out. You see what I'm saying? Not all of us are just... Just flip it real quick, y'all. Flip it real Mm -hmm. quick. Now, you with your bread. Listen up now. Y'all chilling. Y'all had a good day. Y'all had something good to eat. Y'all went wherever y'all like to go. Concert, hiking, whatever. Every time y'all got home, he's sitting there complaining to you about white women. You would be like, what the fuck is going on? You, you it, they shouldn't, it shouldn't be a thing, okay? Because, no, I'm not fixing to sit at my motherfucking dinner table and talk to you about your goddamn community and the issues you have with those women over there. I'm not doing that, okay? So you don't have to explain none of that shit going, they, people know what a black man is. They know exactly what it is. They want to hear what you think. I would change the subject, okay? Especially so, DV, how would you, how would you, would you deal with this situation? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't done, boo. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. No, no, go ahead. 
How would you do, you know, so how would you deal with this? You know, this guy going to the uh, labor department talking about he keeping his check and trying to basically get him hemmed up. He's going to sue him in court. So, like, how would you kind of, like, deal with that? You could tell it's bothering him. I'm not dealing with it. He needs to deal with his lawyer. That's what y'all have a lawyer for. Why are y'all doing legal strategy and y'all got a lawyer? To be honest with you, the only thing I would probably have to say about that is what the hell were you thinking to hire him in the first place? That's, that's what I said. My question. Yeah, he said I get hit. You can't do that, you know. So a lot. <laughs> okay. Hmm. DC, I would. I think um, a suggestion for Kiss the Clip. Maybe she can meet with you behind the scenes to discuss her more um, personal situations because everything's not made for YouTube, and I think you can probably better help her behind the scenes with this. Yeah, just inbox me on, on Patreon, boo, and uh, okay. we'll, we'll talk about it because this is that's too much. I couldn't imagine having to already be divested and still having to be in my home discussing black men all the time. Really? No. They never come the fuck up. Do you understand? Unless we're in public and we see one doing some stupid shit. Other than that, shit, this is a non-black male zone. Do you understand me? Exactly, because see, what we don't want to do is send a message that they're second choice or right. that we just mess with them because we couldn't get black men, all the other shit that's going on out there around about us and all this other stuff. And it's like, uh, no, I like men, because white men because I fucking like white men. I've always liked white men. My entire life, I it go I go, it goes way back. Like you're talking to somebody who sat up and watched what seven seasons of One Tree Hill, so I could stare at James Lafferty. Like that's just what I, I've always liked. And Nathan Scott was fine as fuck to me. Look, look, look. Always, <laughs> that's just Caramel what Mocha, I always y'all. liked. Caramel Mocha, right? Now you remember when we was here the other week. And um, I had something to say about the liberal versus conservative, left versus right shit. And motherfuckers had a fit. Well, you mean you got to be Republican to be divested? Did I say that shit? I, did I say that shit? This is the type of shit, and you're absolutely right, that you're going to end up dealing with if you mess with them, them left-leaning motherfuckers because they, they want to help. They think they're helping. They think that... They bought, they drunk the Kool Aid that uh black men are oppressed, and they just you know they think they're helping you by helping black men. Why? Because black women love black men to death, and they know that shit. And that's another reason why when I hear on these one on ones and all this shit about not being approached, because mammies have been out here putting in work every day. You go to your social medias, it's some bobble headed, dick swallowing bitch that's talking about how much she loves black men. So if you keep seeing that over and over and over and over and over, you're going to assume that that group of women, they only like black men. And on top of that, black women are the ones that date out the least. What what yeah, a coincidence. A lot of those liberal white men are, I'm just going to be honest, that's where you will see a lot of your wiggers and your naker friendly and naker mm-hmm. sympathetic type of, I'm sorry, but people just said that that's another, you know, generalization that I'm throwing out there, but it's not. Because most of the time when you see those liberal guys look at his those civil white dudes look at who their friends are and that'll tell you all you need to know and that's just what i've seen across the board where they're concerned they tend to be a lot more open to having them as friends and bringing them around and all that other shit and i'm sorry i just don't see that on the other side i don't and that's the way i like it because if i don't want to date them motherfuckers what makes you think i want to date somebody who wants to be friends with them and bring them around i'm trying to get the fuck away from them what part of that don't you get so that's why i said (laughs) i can't i cannot do it and for some i saw the comment that you can dc we have also you talk caution divested black women about chasing anything white so you don't even have to question that you're talking to the woman who coined the term white powder donut so she's always put that message out there that's why I can't stand it when people lie on her like she hasn't already said this because she has nobody has said you go for every single white man you come across okay Ciao. It is what it is. They they pick up shit that they want to pick up. They look for a little trip up so that they can say, see, I told you, they still want black men. They just upset because they the black men don't want them. 
ma'am, black men don't want you. What, I mean, what are you talking about? They trash your ass every single day. I haven't heard anything good. And to the panderers, oh my God, y'all, y'all know I don't name drop on this motherfucker, but y'all better be careful up under those panderers got damn lives okay whether they're they're multi-letter mafia or not be careful don't you know that black men already know what you want to hear they are they are professionals in this shit because they've been doing it for hundreds of years all they have to do is stick to the script ask them who they want they're gonna tell you oh i love beautiful black women and lord have mercy somebody gotta go get a bunch of towels because everybody creaming all over the fucking place be very careful. Y'all other prize possession showed y'all that it's a two pussy minimum. You know, um, D, J, yeah, him. He showed you, even though he so-called knows how to treat black women and how to say things to black women and how to make his woman feel good, he cheated on his wife right in front of you motherfuckers. And some of these women stayed around. As a matter of fact, <laughs> some of the women wanted to be the bitch he was cheating with. What? Are you out of your damn mind? Uh-oh. I didn't know you fell off, Kyra. Uh, um, welcome back. Thank you. You you know that sometimes StreamYards likes to act like a black Kevious Malus. Yeah, it's doing <laughs> me like that tonight, Malus. too. But, yeah, but yes, like, like DZ said, and again, this is not specifically directed at anyone, but for the new for the new ladies who may be considering interracial dating flip that shit around do you really want to listen to brad whining about white women yeah, and their I feminism said, i just said that girl it, it's it's nuts a lot of times we can't um see outside of our own little box um black women for the most part see things through black males eyes whatever he interprets it as she takes it on and that's how she sees everything don't y'all see these mammy podcasts that's telling you the exact same thing the manosphere is telling you? How you are masculine, right? You're not feminine. Y'all, there's a two pussy minimum. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Let me put this up real quick because, you know, you got to have receipts for shit. Y'all out here getting pregnant by already baby daddies and then fighting over the nigga. What is this? They ramming each other cars now. What the fuck? That's oh my his God. two baby mamas, right? Tearing up their own fucking property, trying to figure out who gonna win the baby daddy. Y'all, what else do what does what does anybody need to say? This is silly. That's why I tell y'all to stay away from mammies. Because guess what? If you was in the passenger passenger seat of that car, you think she wouldn't have did what she did? Oh, you just became part of Blackistan because you was hanging out with your mammy friend in the passenger side. I swear to God, I, I, I just. And, and then these will be the same chicks that will whine about how uh, car insurance rates for folks who live in the hood are higher <laughs> than folks who live in the suburbs. Yep. <laughs> it's true. Even God. the ATM machine fee. <laughs> oh, it is? I didn't know that was higher. Yeah, anymore. even the ATM and certain, don't get your money out the ATM machine in the hood because the fee is higher. Shit, probably because the card's stolen. Let's just keep that part real. <laughs> Shit, they got to recoup that money some kind of way. Oh, mm -hmm. did somebody suffer DV? I wonder who did. Hmm. Jeff Davis Parish, a man has been arrested for domestic abuse battery with a child endangerment. endangerment. It happened a Sunday when deputies... Color me surprised. I thought that was going to be a zaddy up there whooping a black woman's ass. Because according to Mammies, that's who's your problem. So I don't know where the news got this picture from, but they need to stop the cap, right? Because Mammies say that Zaddy's your problem and that we're praising Zaddy. This is also with child A word. God damn, it's too rated G over here. I can't wait to get to Discord. Listen, white men are not your problem, ladies. They're not, okay? I have some people that wanted to talk to me about microaggressions with white women and we'll get into that behind the wall because that's going to get that's going to get real interesting listen you need to put yourself first point blank period 
I don't care what anybody else thinks, okay? I don't care what they think. I don't care what that group of women thinks. I don't care what black men think. You need to put your safety first. The woman that was entangled with this motherfucker here clearly didn't love herself because the stats speak for themselves, don't they? Are the stats racist as well? Are they not counting the asses that white men are beating? I, what are you trying to say here? Because you could do the research yourself. You could look up the dockets yourself, the hospital stats yourself. If you don't trust the government, it is what it is. Finish this up. These were called to a truck stop in Roanoke, where they learned there was an argument between a couple. Witnesses say 29-year-old Michael Gilbert II pushed his girlfriend and pushed, pulled her hair. Deputies noticed injuries to the victim's face and scratches on her arm. This was Gilbert's 11th arrest, including domestic abuse, drug... Well, well, 11th arrest? What else is that? You said drug trafficking? ...charges and possession of firearms by a felon. No, you mean to tell me that he's also a felon? Get the fuck out of here. Let me put my banner up because I got somebody in the back that's waving their hand. Okay. God, this shit is too easy. Hunted, are you dusty? Uh, no, I'm not dusty. I actually um, messaged you on Patreon earlier. Um, What's up, boo? Um, I'm good. I, I actually was uh, stepping downstairs to um, to get my delivery, and then I overheard you mention dating, and I'm like, that's exactly like I need to hear this. I need to run upstairs like as quickly as I can because it's like this is because it's like that's I guess the question that I've been asking because I guess like I'm at that age where people are well, more women are starting to look for like more serious relationships and of course like I don't want a uh to date a dusty in any we'll, color we'll, we'll talk about the the dating behind the scenes because there's a whole bunch of stuff that that can't be said here the first thing I want black women to do is get the fuck away from these niggas after oh that, of course yeah after <laughs> that then you, you know you can you know get the dating thing down pack or whatever but anybody that has dusty behavior you should not be dealing with them the group that has the most dusty behavior, doesn't it make sense to go ahead and just 86 all of that shit? You know their numbers are already bad. You know they're violent and they're bottom of the totem pole. Why you oh, would dig course. through that? Not you in particular. Oh, yeah. Not you oh, in particular, yeah. just people in general. Why would you dig through the garbage? If you guys are looking for a new stove, a new refrigerator and all that shit, I'm sure you're not going to run the streets looking to see what is put out on the side of the road to bring back into your house because that's the equivalent of what the fuck goes on when these mammies go digging through goddamn dumpsters looking for, for black men. You got rich black women that dig through dumpsters, educated right. black women that dig through dumpsters. And it's very unfortunate. It's sad to see. But when they get the issue, I'm going to just sit there and smile because somebody already told you, Miss PhD, somebody told you already, Doc, somebody already told you that they were fucked up. You just didn't want to believe it. You thought that if you made yourself better and just a wonderful option, right, that you was going to get a better black man. Move around. Right. I will have to say, like, I um, I did grow up with uh, both parents married and they are still married. And the issue was being that I saw a lot of dusty behavior from from my father, um, even though he was the breadwinner. Is your um, daddy I'm, black? Uh, my my dad is black. Yes. My Boom. Mom there, is, there you uh, go. Is a preference. <laughs> and I grew up like looking more like my dad so there was a lot of things that my mom couldn't have conversations with honey, me about honey, yeah we gonna, we gonna have this conversation behind the wall okay, okay? <laughs> yeah okay yeah, yeah. I, I don't want your business slipping out there and all that extra shit we will we'll definitely talk about it there's a way to get this shit done let me tell y'all right. this white men like black women Yes. Do you hear? Do do you hear what I'm saying to you? All yeah. that shit. Um, all that shit that you've heard from the black community, ladies. It's not true. If you're not being approached by white men, it's because they assume that you don't like them. That's the realty. Okay. Right. That has made it so much harder for black women that decided that enough is enough and that they're leaving the black community. Right. Mammies have laid it out to where you got to take the extra step 
because everybody assumes that number one, you got an attitude. Number two, you're a feisty motherfucker. Number three, you're disagreeable, that your hair is fake, that your coochie stank, and all that shit there. That's the shit that black men put out here. Now, with that being your so-called stereotype while you out here, eh, it, the dating scene is a little bit different for black women that date out. I just want to put, exactly. you know, say that real quick. Yeah, I will say I am happy at least that in, I guess, announcing to my parents that I was starting to date out because I wasn't, I wasn't dating for years because I wasn't. Honey, finding girl, anybody. I told you we're going to talk about that behind the wall. <laughs> she said, I'm sorry. I'm going to talk about that no, right now. I'm, I'm just saying, little... like, I, I, I'm, I'm just glad it's not like, oh, you need to date a, a black man because I would hate to have that conversation because <laughs> I already, like, my patience is thin with them. So it's like, I'm glad I don't have to have the, you know, I, I'm not going to, okay, yeah, I got you, I got you. (laughs) Y'all know DZ's, um, DZ's email address, ladies, if you need any advice or guidance, it's divestazella at gmail.com. Please hit her up on the Gmail and she will gladly assist. Not the lives. Yes, okay, thank, just, thank you. Uh, I'll be in the clouds or watching. I'll thing. see you back there, honey. And if you okay. already inbox me, I'm going to answer it when, you know, before I go to Discord and on my, on my way out of here. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Absolutely. Y'all, it's a lot of women in their 30s, right? I don't know how old she is, but there's a lot of women in their 30s that are in like a mode where they're thinking it's getting too late for them. No, the fuck it's not. Do you understand me? You're bringing that Blackistan shit out here. Where did you get that from? When exactly. niggas told you that you hit the wall at 25. So you're still looking like, okay, what the fuck do I do? With? That hit the wall bullshit is not true. You already know you're taking that advice from a group of men that prefer minors. Let's just put that out there. Why are you talking about preferences around this bitch? They prefer minors. You ever thought about that? That's why you're touch rate is so goddamn high i'm finna talk fast around this motherfucker and and get in a little bit of trouble i don't want to do that y'all know what the t is y'all know exactly what it is y'all know good and well a lot of y'all have including myself have experienced it firsthand so when a black man tells you you hit the wall at 25 the first thing you ought to do is be like why am i even talking to him because that's my question to you why why are you talking to him why are you listening to him Why are you waiting to see what his preferences are? He's a black man. Nuff said. Okay. I heard you trying to get in here, Leah. My bad. Oh, no. I don't. No, I wasn't. Go ahead. I thought you you were about to start the story back over. um, No, no, no. That story done, girl. He beat her ass. He beat the kid's ass. And his ass is in jail for the 12th time. That's the story. Okay. But, yeah, this shit is it's it's crazy now i think what threw my out threw me off was the whole dating thing i thought you were about to go over this right now just for the people if like a fyi sort of thing i think that's what derailed the conversation when we started talking about the dating thing yeah it's a i don't know what it is about spring but during the springtime i get a lot of dating questions and i don't know what it is It could be a myriad of things. You know, people make resolutions in spring as well, right? And a lot of people have experienced, I got three people I'm having a one-on-one with next week, that they've experienced the dumping after that tax return is gone. Did you hear what I said? The tax return is gone, and so is he. I told y'all that shit was going to happen. It happens every single fucking year. That's why sometimes it, it, people could try to call us cold or uh, whatever they want to call us, but didn't we talk about this prior to this being a thing and they still turned around and did it anyway? This is what I'm talking about, but then all of a sudden when you say, well, look, I feel no ways about it. Oh, that's just cold. That's heartless. They just mean girls. And it's like, no, we told y'all this shit back before tax season even started that it was headed this way and this is what they were going to do and you still did it that's crazy as hell like you cannot say you were not warned so what do you expect people to say are we supposed to sit here and feel sorry for you like seriously it's a trip because the thing is how do y'all think we knew that 
It's not that we're experiencing it. We just watched it happen every single year since before all of us were fucking born. It's been happening. It doesn't take a psychic and tarot cards and, and fuck you too, bitch. Yeah, you know who I'm talking to. It doesn't take a psychic tarot cards and all that shit there to know what, what the naker is going to do next because that's their MO. Said, these bitches with gold mouth ex feelings and crown chest got pimps and shit and bouncing around uh, trying to cat pander to these motherfucking nakers. All these mammy ass bitches, nobody gives a fuck about what they think about anybody on this panel. If your life fucked up, ain't now one of you bitches got a lifestyle on here that I envy a goddamn thing about. Understand that first. So in order for you to be important to me, you first got to have something that I'm envious of and you, and you don't. None of you. Let's just be clear on that. Because I'm not impressed by shit I've seen over here. It's particularly the ones that's hollering about they got all these kings and these husbands and all this other bullshit. Girl, well, if bye. she has a husband, why is she bouncing her titties up and down for the knickers in the manosphere? I just can't. Can you know uh, exactly. Me that's why people were saying that that nigga won her husband. He was more like her goddamn pimp. Because what type of married woman with a whole goddamn husband would be on here acting the way that she's acting constantly? Hell, the bitch just put some goddamn clothes on. She just learned how to do that. And it's like, okay, but you're a married man. And you mean to tell me your husband don't mind? sounds like a pimp to me and see that's when she finally put some goddamn clothes on and tried to pretend like she had some sense and they wonder why the niggas ain't claiming them hoes they you wonder why mm -hmm. well well i don't i don't look at it as being uh mean i look at it as we can all learn from each other so mean girl like no who's saying that like Everybody, girl. Oh, we get Everybody. called mean all the time by bitches who don't even know us. Who gives a fuck what they think is the thing? They we're the mean girls, but it's funny how they will take everything we say and reword it so it doesn't sound so mean and basically repeat the shit verbatim. Well, why call it mean and just learn from it? Because I'm learning. I learn. I every time I watch in the past with you all, the times I could catch it, I learned a lot. What to do, what not to do. So. Uh, I think DZ one time was talking about she was trying to touch the younger women who are like 18, 19, 20, 21 to realize they don't have to go through this path that they see these mammies going through and mess up their life and stuff like that. I, I just think it's amazing. I really do. Whenever you're telling somebody something that they don't want to hear, you're going to be deemed mean. OK, they, that's okay. just what it is. They come with preconceived notions that there is a unicorn. They holding on to that shit for dear life, y'all. Hanging over the side of a fucking edge of the fucking mountain. Please tell me that there's a unicorn out there. That's exactly what's happening. And ladies, he's not there. Those of you that get it, I'm, I'm here for you. I really am. But if you ever get to a point where you feel lonely, you don't think your divestment is going to work out, what you might want to consider for a little while at least is being single because anything is better than going back to Blackistan. Have y'all seen what's been going on in Detroit lately? Seriously, have y'all seen that? Girls and women from the ages of six to 80 are being R-worded. Nobody's talking about that shit. OK, they caught one of the motherfuckers, but I don't know if they caught the, the you know, the other three. But God damn, there's nothing going to be there for you in Blackistan. You'd rather be home watching Netflix and chilling by yourself than to go back to Blackistan. There's no resources there. There's no jobs there. It's a ton of violence. And you got to remember, the black community does not like black women. You know, it seems yeah. like you don't have to say that. Go ahead. My bad. I was about to say being mean I and I agree discarded roses I don't mind being called mean because usually being called mean or being called a mean bitch comes from people who you don't take any bullshit off of so if you got a zero or very low tolerance or zero tolerance for bullshit fuckery liars and people who like to play games yeah you're gonna be considered mean especially if you know how to be direct and straightforward and most people don't like people like that quite honestly when we say we don't like you we don't like you when we say we want nothing to do with you we want nothing to do with you if we don't fuck with you then we don't fuck with you and that's just if that's mean then oh well so goddamn what 
But that's the shit that they like to say. But see, the thing is, just because you're a little bit more covert of, about your mean girl shit, those are some of the meanest bitches ever. The ones that you don't see coming. The ones that you. you think exactly. The ones that you think are just so sweet. And so they just they're just way better at hiding their meanness. Make no fucking mistake about it. Y'all, we actually saving black women lives, period. I get that message all the time between all the trolling, the inboxing, the 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 bullshit posts and all that shit like that. There's black women who said their lives have been saved. saved. We got black women that have moved to Utah. We got black women that have, I got one that moved to Montana and she's loving that shit. Y'all better get out here and put yourself first <laughs> or let's bring him back. This is what you got. Come here. Come here. What are you upset about? Tina, come here. What's he upset about? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -mm. What you upset about? He got me any meat in the morning. He got no deal with the He got to fight me all the time. I'm going to get down with it. Y'all got into it over some cigarettes? He yeah, ain't got no cigarettes. He ain't got no food. He got me. I can't cut me all the time. I'm tired. <laughs> but most of y'all's arguments are over cigarettes, and they don't. You don't need to be arguing over cigarettes. I ain't said nothing to you. Start on me first. Who, 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 who Friday gets him? Who, who Friday gets him? Shit. Friday is here. It's Friday. I ain't gonna be on the house. Yeah, that part. Have fun digging through that garbage. Okay, that's supposed to be an elder. Sounding like a whining bitch. And that's who they are. We'll talk about the multi-letter mafia part another time. But hey, can't do it here. I will see y'all in that goddamn Discord. <laughs> Bye. Bye, y'all. Deezy, I will be emailing you. Okay. All right, bye. Thank you.